Well, we've just finished up one year, 2021, and we are at the beginning of 2022. As I record this, I am drinking my coffee and it is right before the I start working on my first workday of 2022. And I am joined here by my dog, Teddy. He wanted to come in and join in on the conversation. But I think that one thing that's really important is taking some time to take a step back and look at the year that was, looking at both the good, the hard, and lessons that we learned. So um, I have a whole process that I use to go and evaluate the past. And I will probably talk about that in another, in another video. But uh, today, what I wanted to cover was uh, five lessons that I learned in 2021. And I'm just sharing these in hopes that they may be something that is a bit of encouragement for you as you go into 2022. These are just five things that I learned over the course of the year. So the first thing that I learned is about the power of community. This was a huge lesson that I learned this year. And so uh, one of the biggest ways that I saw this is through geospatial connections on Clubhouse. I need to actually go up and go and figure out when we started, but I believe that it was at the end of February when a group of us started meeting weekly on the Clubhouse app. And that has been such a gift to me in this season. And that has formed a real community of people where every uh, every week on Wednesdays, we get together and we have a conversation about all things geospatial. I've really gotten to know those people. They're people who I can rely on, um, but also in terms of the moderators, but also in terms of that group of people. Um, I've also seen the power of community in my own life. Uh, we moved in December of 2020 and so really have only been in our home for a year. And it was a local move. Um, or like within the same metro area. So a lot of my friends, like I'm still proximal to a lot of friends, but we joined a new church community and I really was able to see the power of community um, in just a lot of ways. It has not been an easy year. My husband works in public health. We have gone through fertility struggles and having people who were willing to bring us food, who were encouraging us, who were sending us text messages, who knew when appointments were and were um, supporting us was something that I had wanted and was just deeply, deeply grateful for. And that is something that I am just th thankful that we, that we have and it's something that I am not going to, to take for granted. Um, so that is the, the power of community. Uh, related to that last point is a second thing that I learned was the power of vulnerability. So I've been, I think, relatively open about our struggles to get pregnant. Uh, being a mom, I have said for a number of years, has been my number one career goal. And as of now, that just isn't happening. Um, and that, that has been really hard. It has been hard to deal with shots and procedures that don't work and surgeries the day after GIS day that end up having a lot of complications, dealing with weight gain because of hormones and such. Um, that has been incredibly hard. But what I have learned this year is that I am not alone. And how I learned that was because I decided to speak out about it um, and just be willing to say that I'm taking time off because I'm dealing with fertility stuff or I'm not hosting a mappy hour this month. And I'm deeply thankful for the people who responded to my, um, who just reached out to me and said, you're not alone in this. Um, here's a picture of my kid. Um, because those are the things that I needed to get through this. And um, just remembering that different people are on different journeys, but that this is the thing that is top of mind for me right now. And so I was just really, really thankful for other people sharing sharing um, their perspectives and sharing what was going on with them. So yeah, the, the power of vulnerability and just the, the importance of it. The third thing that I learned is that networking is all about relationship building. So this year in 2021, I used Calendly, and I had 
about three networking calls a week and I was able to easily schedule those and that is something that was was really great. Um, and so I expanded my network. I had a number of really, really good conversations, met a number of really great individuals, right? Maybe somebody would say something on Clubhouse. I'd then shoot them a DM and say like, hey, I'd love to talk more with you, right? People who now, some of them are, are people who I count as friends where it just started as, hey, you said something really interesting. I wanna, I wanna get to know you more. Um, um, but also just like some people who are like tangentially related, I just had so many good conversations. Um, one of the things that I'm really interested in is seeing how can I leverage geospatial technology to help uh, faith-based organizations. And this year I was really privileged to be able to just have some really humbling conversations with faith leaders about that. And that was just all about like building relationships with them, understanding what their pain points were. And so that's something that I am um, deeply, deeply grateful for. But at the same time, I right, actually right, built relationships with people. So there's a number of people who I can, I can think on my hand who I've never met in person, right? All of my mo co-moderators on Clubhouse, I've never met them in person, but I consider them now friends. Um, and that's because I built an actual relationship with these people. A year ago when I connected with Bruce, or I guess it, two years ago when I connected with Bruce Buxton on LinkedIn, I didn't know him. I just thought he was like producing really interesting, funny content, the gray beard. Um, but now he's somebody who I text and I have, you know, he's somebody who I have a real relationship with. Um, the, the next lesson that I have learned is that sometimes you just need to talk to somebody. And I see this all the time when I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with people. If you aren't aware, one of the services offered, there's there'll be a link in the description below, is um, that I offer one-on-one -on -one career coaching for geospatial professionals, where I take my network, my experience, and I help you figure out how to create a career that you love. And that has just, that's something that I, I, I super love doing, but that oftentimes people come to me and they just say, I need to talk through this with somebody. And I am honored to be that person. And, you know, I'm able to give them my perspective and my experience. And I've just seen time and time again, how just talking to somebody can be so helpful as you figure out your career. This year, I have also benefited from therapy in terms of having an outside source as somebody to talk through some of the big feelings that I was feeling um, with infertility, COVID, work things, and that there's no shame in going to therapy. And that's something that I'm really grateful that I have the economic access to be able to do. Um, I've also just been really grateful and thankful for friend dates as being a place for, for me to be able to talk with someone. That I'm really thankful for friends who are invested in my life, who we can sit and have a cup of coffee and just talk through the things that are going on. And those are things that um, we shouldn't take for granted and are some of the things this year that really helped fill my cup. And then the final thing that I learned this year is just the importance of goal setting. Uh, I set what I thought was a really crazy goal for me in my business this year, right? So I work a full-time job, I have tabulae spatial on the side, and I set a particular profit goal. So profit means the amount that I take home. And I, it wasn't actually like super high, but it was a pretty crazy goal for, for me in terms of, doing this on the side, that there's a decent number of expenses that I have, and that I was able to achieve that this year. And what I learned through that experience was that having a specific goal, right, you've probably heard of, of SMART goals, that that was really helpful to know that this is the particular number that I am going for, um, and that I was then able to track the small steps towards that goal over time. Um, and, just that it felt really great on New Year's Eve when I I hit that goal. So I, I hit it on the last day possible of the year, but but I hit it. And I, I was really shocked, right? I have uh, actually brought on a part-time staff member this year to help um, as I've had to take some steps back to um, with, with health things for them to be able to manage some of the day-to-day -day getting blogs and, and other things up and, and managing some of my email. So I, I didn't think I would make that um, profit goal, but I did. And so I just want to encourage you in this coming year 
to set a few crazy goals that are ones that you think that you can achieve. So I, I want them to be achievable goals, but ones that you may have to work a little bit at. At the same time, it's also okay if you decide to quit on a goal. There were some goals I set this year and I just realized this is not the year for doing that. And so I, I, didn't, I didn't follow through with them and I have no qualms about that. So anyway, five lessons from the year for me, which are the power of community, the power of vulnerability, networking is all about building relationships. It's important to talk to someone and also you should set some crazy goals. So I would love to know what were some of the things that 2021 taught you. And um, I also right now am doing a survey to um, better serve you in the coming year. There's a link to that in the comments below and would love it if you would be able to fill that out and help me better serve you in the coming year. I am so, so thankful for you. I say that at the end of every video, but I am really thankful for this community. Um, there's, there's a lot of good, that and just I I'm just thankful that um, that I get I get to communicate with you and I'm really thankful for you uh, watching my videos. I mean a lot if you commented on this video, uh, letting me know uh, what you have learned this year, as well as liking or subscribing to my channel. Those are all things that um, are really meaningful to me. So anyway, I wish you the best 2022.